Curtis Tolfrey, pictured here, was a longtime Kenosha educator, most recently as principal at Washington Middle School. But it was while he was the dean of students at Bradford High School from 2008 to 2009, prosecutors say he sexually assaulted a student. According to this criminal complaint, the former student says that she had sex with Tolfrey in his office here at the high school just about every day during her junior year. The student, only identified as Jane Doe, says she was 17 at the time and recently went to Kenosha police. She told investigators, quote, there were times during her junior year that the defendant would call her out of class while at school. He would have her come to his office. She says the office, quote, always had the window covered with construction paper. As a result, if the defendant's office door was closed, no one could see inside. The student also said they had sex in hotels, his SUV, and at Tolfrey's home. Friday, prosecutors charged him with three felonies. He hasn't been arrested yet, but has been ordered to appear in court in early January. We tried reaching him at his home. And by phone Tuesday with no answer. It's just horrible. You know, you, just, you don't know someone until something like this happens. The school district tells 12 News just last year, Tolfrey resigned as principal at Washington amidst accusations of sexual relationships with school staff. Tolfrey's currently the principal here at Beulah Park Elementary in Zion, Illinois, just over the border. Monday, the school district learned of the charges and placed him on administrative leave. Why is he here? Why is he, why, you know, if it's, if it's true, why, how do you get the job? You know, they don't do no background checks. They do it for everything else. So. Meanwhile, police in Kenosha tell 12 News so far no other victims have come forward. In Kenosha, Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. Kenosha School District officials wouldn't go on camera but gave us this statement. The district is aware of the allegations being made about a former employee of KUSD. The allegations were brought to our attention by local law enforcement with whom we have and will cooperate with as needed.